back to more uncivilized vitality and today we're going to talk about one of the uh, uncivilized technologies uh, the clothing tool which is the first tool and usually we talked about the morigamis a lot but today because we have a, um, a canoe trip coming up may 2023 i want to talk about one of the most important bits of clothing is your head cover right head covering so you lose a lot of heat uh, through your head uh, you lose a lot of heat. Uh, it helps dissipate heat in the, when you're too hot, and it'll help uh, help you conserve heat when it's too cold. It's a good hat. So I have a couple different hats I want to talk about. My boonie hat today. Uh, these are called patrol hats, boonie hats, uh, bucket hats, tricorn hats. There's all sorts of names, but this is basically a hat that has a rim or a brim all the way around it. Uh, I like the boonie hats. I've had I've been using these for I don't know. 30, 40 years since I was a little kid. And I'll show you some of the specs on my hat and why I recommend a boonie hat. You're always going to want to have some sort of head covering when we're out on one of our field craft events. Uh, the boonie hat does a lot of different things that a baseball cap won't do. It doesn't leave my ears exposed uh, to the sun. It doesn't leave the back of my neck exposed. It gives me a little covering on my head uh, all the way around, especially my ears, and catches those shadows. So I'll show you a couple things I've done to my boonie hat and um, uh, some ways you can modify that to bring it along. Another thing you're going to want is always have a second hat, um, more especially in the, the winter, but I just carry this small merino wool, um, just like a stocking cap. You can roll this up and pull it down tight. It's all sorts of things you can do with it. Rolls up small, stays in my pocket, or I throw this in my uh, bag for my sleeping hat. And I use my boonie the rest of the day. And then, of course, if you have a buff, you can always use a buff uh, at night to use, make an extra hat out of that, or a head covering if you're cold, or if you have your um, pocket morgum or your silk on that, you can always uh, wrap that up as a head covering as well. But it's good to have a, a piece of kit that's mainly for uh, your head. Uh, we try not to use single-use items uh, much, so I'll show you some different uses for the boonie hat. All right. So a boonie hat's that wide brim all the way around. It's got uh, kind of that um, bucket shape, sits on top of your head. And what's important to have is some ventilation in your booty hat, but not too much ventilation. So I use mine year round. Uh, so I've got a couple little brass vents here. Some of them have little mesh panels. Uh, some of them have mesh on the top. There's all sorts of ways to vent that hat. Wearing it just sitting loosely on top of your head helps it kind of vent too, because it keeps some air space in here that can stay cooled off and not build up too much heat. Um, Lots of different things you can do to keep keep it vented. Since this one is usually the boonie hats are 100% cotton, this one's a 50% nylon, 50% cotton. I'll go over that brand in a minute. So what I'll do in the hot weather is I'll dip this like when we're on the river next month. I'll dip this in the the water and get it wet, and then put it on top of my head. And then the evaporative effect of that water will pull some some heat from my head and help me stay cool. Uh, these are good for wet weather as well. Keeps the rain off my. I wear wear my glasses. Like I have my reading glasses on to keep the, the water off my glasses. Um, kind of helps protect my my eyes when I'm going through the, the woods, maybe for some brush uh, when I'm bushwhacking. Uh, not a lot, obviously, not as good as safety glasses, but uh, great uses for the hat. I flip it upside down. Sometimes I can put a sheet of uh, plastic or a garbage bag, fill that with water, and use it as an improvised uh, bucket or pail for washing up or maybe cleaning some... Um, some dishes. You can use it as a regular container for collecting uh, berries and uh, roots and different things. I was going to say mushrooms, but I don't collect anything beyond morels out in the, the woods, so I don't know enough about the mushrooms. But the boonie hat has a lot of different uses besides just head covering, but head covering is where it excels. So a couple things you can do uh, to modify your boonie to make it more useful. One is there's this uh, foliage ring all the way around that. This is not necessarily to carry things. This is for from its uh, background in military use, sticking uh, vegetation in here to break up the, the silhouette, the, the human silhouette of the head and shoulders. If you're trying to hide, the floppy brim of my hat can help break up my silhouette. But then by putting vegetation in the, in the ring, grasses and sticks and twigs, strings, I can drape that off and break up my uh, silhouette even better. Um, a few, few years ago we did this, we were out in the swamp and I was sneaking around, um, floating up to scare my buddies and I used a lot of uh, grass and I made myself a floating patch of grass and I stayed about an inch 
uh, over the surface of the water and it just looked like a pile of gra uh, grass floating. I even had a duck paddle right near me. So that's what those rings are for. You can use them for a few different things. Uh, one thing I do is I keep a large blanket pin. Um, I keep a large blanket pin in the rim of my boonie hat. Um, I have a blackened one so it doesn't show. That way I can use this to, to make a, a cloak or a, a match coat or a, a just some sort of way to fasten my wool blanket around my shoulders if I get a little cold at night. There's a lot of other uses for a blanket pin. I also keep uh, a little light, a super, I think this is a um, from a night eye, it's a little micro light. It's got a little clip here so that I can clip that onto uh, the brim of a baseball cap or in this case my boonie cap. Clip that on the front right, and then I can turn that light on. Now I've got a little improvised headlamp so I can kind of see what I'm doing at night. I think this one, the battery's dying on it. but. Any kind of small light, you can keep that clipped up there. Um, I took out the original shoelace uh, or string that came with this uh, chin strap, and I poked a couple little brass. Let me see if I can show this so Tom can see that. A couple little brass grommets in there. You could also sew uh, buttonholes in the side of the brim. And then I just ran a length of paracord through there and up through the foliage rings and to the back. I put a simple cord lock on there with a couple knots to keep it from pulling through so I can adjust the length of my uh, chin strap. And then I added a little um, ferro rod back there, so I've got another little fire starter. This hat in particular is a True Spec brand, and it comes with a little pocket on the inside in the, in the uh, top of the hat. And typically in there, I'll keep a little fire starter disc uh, just so I have that in the ferro rod with my knife or my multi-tool. I've got a, another redundant way to, to start fire. Now, uh, that's what I usually do in the winter when I wear it in the colder weather. The main thing I keep in there, though, is my mosquito net. So I always have my mosquito net tucked in there, uh, especially in Michigan, in the summer or the spring or the fall or the winter. Now I've got my mosquito net. I can just pull that out of my hat, tuck it down. Some people sew their mosquito nets into their hat. I don't like to do that because if I'm wearing the net, maybe I need to take the hat off for a minute to get a little cool breeze. I don't want to pull the net off. Uh, right in the middle of a, a swarm attack of mosquitoes. So I just keep the net in there and I tuck that down. If the bugs are getting really bad and they're close to my face, I can actually put the mosquito net over the top of my boonie hat. So I can stretch that out and put that over top of my boonie. All right? Keep the net off my face a little bit, maybe pop my collar up and tighten that up. Now I've got a little breathing room and the mosquitoes can't get in. Uh, I've slept this way many times in the forest. And this little mosquito net's a lifesaver. Keeping it folded up and tucked up inside the top of my hat in that little pocket gives me a little more air space, uh, which can be for uh, keeping me cool in the summer. But it also keeps my mosquito net from snagging on things in my pocket or getting damaged. You don't want a hole in your mosquito net. Okay. So lots of different uses you can... Uh, you can find for your boonie hat, uh, head covering obviously is going to be the main one. Keep you cool, keep you warm. In the winter, sometimes I will take my morigami, my silk. I've done this a lot in the, the winter. And I'll just fold, fold that up into a nice square or a triangle. And I'll place that in my boonie hat and drop that down over my head. That extra layer of silk over my ears, kind of folding down like uh, ear flaps on a Michigan hat, and a little bit in the back. Those extra layers of silk, believe it or not, this will keep you pretty warm uh, in the winter. So that's something you can do if you don't have a proper winter cap when you're out. You can use your morigami and your boonie hat right, to keep yourself kind of warm. Another thing I've used my hat for is um, we're going to take a rest and I have to sit down for a minute on damp ground. I'll just drop this down and use it as a as a little seat to sit on. Uh, what else do I use my hat for? I know that if I put my hat on the ground and kind of circle that around, I've got about a 12 to 13 inch diameter circle in case I want to dig. I need to dig a hole for some reason, like a Dakota fire pit, or to uh, cache something. Um, uh, here's a useful little mod. So some people don't like the way the brim uh, flops and folds. You can. Uh, there's a little opening at the back of almost all boonie caps where they don't sew that shut. And you can run some small gauge wire 
all the way around the brim of the hat if you like that. I don't like that all the way around because I like to crush my hat down. So I put a paper clip um, about here, about the middle of the center so I can, I can peek that up or flatten that out or make a shape. And that paper clip in there helps to uh, hold the shape of the hat. So it gives me a little peek so it's not in my way. I can flatten that out, fold it down. There's lots of different ways I can shape that little paper clip that's in there so that holds its shape. Good thing about the boonie cap, uh, not uh, using it, I just roll it up, stick it in my back pocket, uh, throw it in my pack. Um, you can uh, stuff this and fill this with some clothing or some socks and things and make a nice uh, little side sleeping pillow out of it at night. No end of use for the boonie cap. Uh, the best use, of course, is going to be to keep the sun off of your head, off your head, but keep you cool when we're canoeing down the river next month. So I suggest everybody pick up, a, go to the surplus store, go to uh, get online and look around. We might have some here in the, the UV store um, to loan out or for sale if we have some new ones before the event. But I suggest you get a boonie cap, keep you from getting sunburned. Um, works great on the river. You can dip it in the water to keep yourself cool. Uh, the chin strap, you can loosen that up depending on how much chin strap you use. If it gets windy out, we can always pull that down in front so we don't lose our hat. You can flip the chin strap up on the top over the hat and tighten that up a little bit to keep those the side brims pulled up. Where's their hat like that? Crocodile Dundee or somebody. Mm -hmm. So you can flip the hat up kind of weird looking that uh, defeats the whole the whole point of protecting your ears rolling it up like that maybe you could just roll one side up and do something fashionable i don't really care for that so uh the boonie hat get yourself a bucket hat or a boonie hat um it's good to have one of these in your kit at all times second thing you'd want to have is some sort of knit cap the merino wool or a light cap that's dry for sleeping in uh, to help regulate your body control temperature this is our first set of tools is uh, clothing and head covering is a very vital um, uh, vital piece of that family. So head covering, you need a hat at all times in the outdoors. Even you know if you don't have any hair like me or if you have lots of hair. Head coverings first. You always want to be carrying one or two different size morigamis and you always want something like a poncho or a tarp that you can effect a weatherproof or waterproof uh, shelter. So get yourself a good hat and um, check out some of our other videos. And I think we're going to do a shelter video today too. So that one probably come up the same time as the hat. And you can check that out. We're going to need to do some lightweight shelter traveling. We might not have any trees on the, on the trip. So get yourself a hat. See you in the next video.